Hey folks, for this screencast, I'm going to go over how to get code. Uh, so I make a lot of YouTube videos and there's code in the YouTube videos. I'm also going to go a little bit over Git and then I'm also going to go over, you know, doing some special requests via email, which is something new that I'm going to try here. So let's jump right into it. Let's say that I'm watching, you know, one of my more popular YouTube videos here about Newton Rapson and I really, really want the code. What I'm trying to do is and I just did this this morning, is post a link to my GitHub. So if you click this link, it will immediately take you to my open source GitHub here. And you can, the easiest thing to do is just, you know, copy and paste the code. So you can just copy this, open up your favorite text editor and drop it in. And then that's really big text. Oh my goodness. Or drop it in and then there you go. You've got the code, you can mess with it, you know, however, however you see fit. So that's uh, that's one way to do it. Um, if you're watching a YouTube video and the code is not there, you can, if you want, you know, just head over to my standard repo of of all my repositories and scroll through and see if you can find it. So if I wrote some Python code, it's probably in here. If I wrote some MATLAB code, it's probably in here. Uh, if you can't find it after poking through for a little bit, just post in the comments and then I'll find it and I'll post it in the description of the YouTube video. Now. There are other things in here. So there's a uh, LaTeX here, which has a lot of my different textbooks. So in some of those, you've probably seen these PDFs that I go through and, you know, these are like brief textbooks. I just updated this in May. Um, this, you can just do a straight download since it's a PDF. So you don't, you can't copy and paste a PDF. So you can just straight download it. But I have released the, uh, the actual tech file and all the figures. So if you want to help contribute to this textbook, um, you can always, you know, get a GitHub account, fork the repo, and then, and then you can always, and it looks like a couple people already have, and then you can push some changes and I can try and merge those in there. Um, if you end up downloading one of the bigger repos and again this is getting kind of more git based but not quite yet uh, you can just download the entire zip so this is my fastcast repo which has a software for my uh, hardware autopilots for aircraft uh, drones and rockets and so if you want the entire repo you can just download the zip and it will download the entire zip now if you want to get a little bit more command line based there is this uh, HTTPS here, and so you can copy this. And what I'm going to show you now, if you don't want to watch a YouTube video, is if you go to my aerialsystems.org webpage and you hit tutorials, uh, over here I have a bunch of tutorials for different things. And if you just scroll down a little bit, I have a tutorial on GitHub and GitLab Basics. And if you click that, everything, I'm only gonna show a small snippet of this tutorial, but everything I know about Git is pretty much in here. And so all of these screenshots are with Terminal and Terminal is, is typically on Linux-based systems or Unix-based systems. I'm actually recording this video on a Windows computer. And so I downloaded a program called Git Bash, uh, which uses MinGW, which is the minimal, minimalist GNU framework for 64-bit computers. And it operates pretty much the same, oops, you can you know type in ls and you can see what what all is here um i'm gonna head over to i'm just gonna head over to my desktop and let's see desktop there you go and so right now i just have a readme file here and then i have a desktop ini and then a ccs folder so let's say again i've opened up terminal and i want to download this entire repo but i want to download it the gitway and i guess if you don't know why would i download the gitway well the, the git GitHub and Git are our version control things. So you can see here, these are the files on the left. And over here, these are all of the uh, commits, the changes that I've made to the code. If you look here on this software, I've made 586 commits to it. And you can see all the different changes, like how long ago they were. And, you know, if you click these commits, you can see here, you know, on May 11th, I plotted raw data from the bench test. And if you click that, you can see some some changes to the code that I've made. And so Git is a really nice way to, to track changes that you've made to the code. And so if you download some software just by hitting the download button or copying and pasting it, if I make a change to the software, you would have to re-go to GitHub and re-download it. But if you do it the Git way, what will happen is, is it will download the entire folder to your computer, but it will link it to the website, the GitHub, the the cloud client, 
And if I make a change to any file on that repo, you can do what's called a git pull and you can git pull all of the changes. So if you remember, I, let's see, control V, uh, how do you paste? Okay, shift, whatever. Oh dear. Um, let's go back and see if I copied that. So copy, okay, it says it's copied and then I'm gonna paste. Okay, cool, so there's the HTTPS. So the way that git clone works, and I'm having trouble, if I just hit enter, what happens? Okay, nothing, all right, so there it is there. If I type in git clone, okay, and again, git bash the software, and, and if you don't know where git bash is, I mean, you can just Google git bash download, right? And the first link, git dash SEM, you can download it for Mac, Windows, or Linux. If you have Linux, I don't know why you would download Git. I'm not entirely sure. You you can download Git using the uh, uh, the sudo apt get on or sudo apt now on Ubuntu or you know sudo rpm or sudo zipper. You know whatever version of of Linux you're running. Um, but if you have Mac or Windows, you know this is a. And actually, even on Mac, I feel like you can use the uh, terminal and you can download. But anyway, if you want to use Git Bash, here it is, and you can type in Git clone. Let me move my uh, screen out of the way a little bit. So there it is, git clone, and then the whole thing. And if I hit enter here, it's gonna say cloning into FastCast, and again, that's my software, and it's gonna download the entire software here onto my computer. And so, give it a minute, I'll pause the video. All right, so while you were away, I it finished downloading the entire repo. And so if I type in ls, you'll notice that now I have not only the CCS folder and these two other files, but I also have FastCast, and so if I change directory into fastcast, I have every single thing in here. Now what's neat is that there is a, a git folder. If I type in ll, you'll notice that there is a, hmm, maybe ls-la? Yes, there is a dot git folder in here. And so, oh, you can't, you can't see that. Let me pull this back down. So there is a dot git folder in here that has all of the information to tell git on your computer how to link with the repo uh, on the cloud on GitHub. And so if I ever make a, make a change, I can do git commands and I can type in, you know, hey, git pull origin main. And right now there are no changes. It'll say, hey, you're already up to date. But if I, you know, Carlos Montalvo, if I make a change to the software and push it to the cloud, you no longer have to re-download the entire zip folder. You can just type in git pull. Now, it, it does get into a situation here where, and I discussed this more in my tutorial, but what happens if you yourself want to make changes? Well, then you have to make SSH keys and you have to fork the branch, you have to make a new branch and you have to push and you have to request a merge. And all of that is kind of beyond the scope of this video. But I did just kind of want to give you an idea that, you know, on my YouTube channel, in the, in the description of the video, I am going to try to have a link to the the code so that you can download that and you can use it at your leisure. Uh, you can also get git bash and clone the entire directory. If it's a PDF, you can just download the PDF itself. But if you want to download the tech and compile from source, you, you have the jurisdiction to do that as well. And then the last thing that I wanted to bring up is just via email in general. So I put in here, YouTube get email. I've been getting a lot of requests via email where people have specific problems with their code that they want me to help. Well, I'm gonna try to launch this new platform where if you want to request a specific YouTube video where I help you with you know, some code that you're working on for class, or perhaps like there's a, you know, some sort of iterative method or numerical method that you need help with, go ahead and send me an email and we're gonna try this pilot program and see how it goes where you request a, a specific YouTube video. We'll chat with each other back and forth a little bit and agree upon you know a certain amount of time that it'll take. I'm gonna charge $50 an hour. Most of these YouTube videos uh, usually take me around an hour. If it's a more longer or in-depth one where I have to do a lot of reading and, and figure out what's going on with your code, uh, then it'll obviously take longer. But we'll basically we'll do a, a locked in fixed rate and we can pay via Venmo or PayPal. And so if you have any requests, uh, I don't know how flooded my email inbox is going to get after posting this uh, YouTube video, but I'm going to do my best to try and, and help y'all out as much as I can. I think uh, 
if I could get a little bit of a financial incentive, I think I'd be able to help you guys out a lot more. And every time that somebody sends me an email and requests a specific YouTube video, I am going to post it, at which point it affects the larger community in general. So basically, we should hit sort of critical critical mass here where I have a YouTube video for almost every method out there. and Maybe I'm just helping uh, individual people with their specific problems. So again, yeah, shoot me an email and let me know if you guys have any uh, questions or help. And if you have any other questions that you want for the larger community, you can just post in the comments below. I'll see y'all later.